What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Crankin' with Christian. Today we are going to be talking about rod selection for limited rods amounts. So this is going to be about the top five rods I would have in my arsenal if I was only able to have five rods with me. Um, if I go fish tournaments or anything like that or if I'm fishing with buddies that I do not in my own boat then these are the five rods or the selection that I would personally take with me if I'm limited to that amount. It's the rods where you can throw every single technique with that you're really going to need to. Um, bank anglers, if you guys just want some rods more than just one so you don't have to swap them out super much. Um, these are the top five I would go with. Kayak anglers, same way because I'm a kayak angler and these are the rods I'd go with. Boat anglers, tournament anglers, everything. So. I see this mixed up a lot. A lot of people don't know what rods to throw with what baits or they have wrong, wrong rod to throw with the bait that they're throwing um, because they don't have other rods with them or whatnot um, to throw it on. So I'm gonna go through with each one of these rods, um, the length, the action, and the power of it. I'm gonna talk about what I would throw with that rod and go through with all five. I will slightly go over what reels I've got on it and what line I've got on it, but reel brand doesn't matter, and also in this video, rod brand doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna be telling you guys the basics of what power, action, and length I would go with, because everybody likes different rods, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly what rod to get. Now, I'll, I will tell you what rod I'm throwing it on, but that doesn't mean that's the rod that's best. So. Anyways, let's get into the first rod. So the first rod, everybody typically starts out with one of these rods. Um, and that is in between a seven foot and seven foot three medium heavy. This is a Dobbins Champion XP 704C. This is a seven foot four or seven foot four power, which actually is heavy, but Dobbins seems to be a little bit, rate them a little bit heavier than what they actually are. So in most brands, this is actually probably like a medium heavy. Um, either way, the 704 in Dobbins is a great multi-purpose rod, and that's really what this rod is going to be. A 7 to 7 foot 3 medium heavy rod, fast action, is going to be a great um, multi-purpose rod. You're going to be able to throw everything on it. You can throw Texas rigs, jigs, you can throw chatter baits on it. I threw it with them all the time on this. Spinner baits, buzz baits, any type of top water, um, anything like that. Pretty much any type of moving bait. I wouldn't throw too much of crank baits on here just because you may lose some fish since the tip's a little bit heavy on a medium heavies. Um, you could get away with some, like you could throw a lipless crank bait on this, no problem on a, on a medium heavy. Um, square bill, probably a little bit too light. Maybe a deeper, like a mid diving crank bait, you could get away with it. I would not recommend it though. I've got another rod for some of those baits. That'll work good. So great all purpose rod. You can fish topwater frogs, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, Texas rigs, jigs, anything pretty much on one of these rods. So really, if I had to choose one rod to have and that was it, it would be one of these rods, a seven foot to seven three medium heavy fast action. On this, I've got a Shimano Corrado 70 and I've got this with I believe 17 pound fluorocarbon. Um, so if you're fishing multi, like a multi-purpose rod, I would go anywhere between 15 to 17 depending on what state you're in in Ohio really I don't need 17 I just like a little bit heavier line because this specific rod is my Texas rig line and if I'm setting a hook I want to be able to trust the line so that's why I've got this with 17 but really for a multi-purpose rod I'd go with 15 so anyways that's the first one let's move on next up we are gonna go with a little bit of a longer rod um, so for a second rod I would always have in an arsenal is a seven foot three to seven foot six heavy action or heavy power fast action rod. This right here is a Luz TP1 Black. Um, this is a seven four heavy fast, which is a flipping rod. Um, and really, these are another good heavier bait all purpose rod. On this, I'm throwing, since I throw mostly three eighth half ounce, more like half ounce um, spinner baits and chatter baits and all that. I'm throwing a lot of spinner baits and chatter baits on this rod. I've also thrown lipless on this rod. It's a little bit too heavy for lipless. You'll uh, lose some fish with a lipless rod using this, but it does work. Um, <clears throat> and then I can also throw Texas rigs again, jigs. I can throw a multitude of things. But since you have a longer rod, this is a really good flipping rod if you need it. Um, you can throw heavier jigs, heavier Texas rigs, 
and just a little bit better than what that rod's for. So if you're using that rod for spinner baits, chatter baits, etc., you could throw this specifically for Texas rigs jigs and you're covering another huge selection of baits right there. Um, with this, I've got a Lose Tournament Pro, the new one on here, and I believe I got 20 pound fluorocarbon on here, either 17 or 20 pound on here, um, just because it's mainly a flipping rod, and if I'm throwing anything else, I'm throwing up into cover. So, great rod for throwing into thick cover, thick slop, anything like that. Um, so 7.3 to 7.6, heavy, fast action, definitely a need in a arsenal so next up's a little bit of a rod that's more it has like almost a small um, a smaller range of baits you can throw on that and the next rod that I would suggest having is more of a finesse style um, casting rod so with that being said I would go in between a six foot eight and a seven foot medium light to medium depending on the brand um, heavy or fast action casting rod. Now, this right here is a Luz custom speed stick. Um, and this is a rod that I use specifically for any topwater baits except frogs. So I'll use spooks, poppers, um, pretty much, I mean anything, whopper ploppers, um, a bunch of different types of topwater baits I will throw on this, um, any walking baits. And other than that, you can throw square bills on this, amazing. Um, it's an amazing square bill rod. And then you can also throw flukes. Um, you can throw um, jerk baits. And you can also throw like small paddle tails on this rod because it's got enough tip to it so that when you're throwing small finesse style baits, you're not gonna overpower it and rip it or break a hook or anything like that, bend out a hook. So it's a great, um, like a multi-purpose finesse casting rod. So. That's why I would suggest one of these. Now with this, I've got a Lose Tournament MB on here, and I've got 12 pound fluorocarbon on this. Um, probably could go with mono since I'm throwing more topwater baits on this, but I like fluorocarbon for jerk baits and flukes and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and threw fluorocarbon on this. So there we go. Six foot eight to seven foot, medium light or medium, fast or moderate fast action casting rod. Now getting into one rod that I've got on my list that is a specific um, rod to only one technique, really. Um, but you really need this rod if you're gonna be fishing. Especially tournaments, if you're throwing any types of bait like this, you need one of these rods. So what rod I'm talking about is a crankbait rod. Crankbait rod is very important for throwing any type of treble hook baits, like shallow diving, like square bills, mid diving crankbaits, shallow crankbaits, you can even get away with um, deep diving crankbaits on some of these rods, but you really need a crankbait rod. Um, I really That's one of the things that I am very, very um, pro, I guess, if you want to call it that way, for this year, is crankbait rods. Now crankbaits is the only thing I say you definitely need a crankbait rod for. Other baits you can get away on other rods, but crankbaits you definitely need a crankbait rod. Um, for a crankbait rod, for a multi-purpose or a multi-use crankbait rod for any types of crankbaits, lipless square bills, shallow divers, mid divers, deep divers, I would go with a seven foot to seven foot three, um, like a medium to medium heavy crankbait rod. So if it's a specific crankbait rod, a medium and a medium heavy, they're gonna be different than regular casting um, medium and medium heavies. So this right here is a Mega Bass Le Levante. It is seven two and it's a swing fire, it's a crankbait rod. And I mean, as you guys can probably see, this tip is very, very, very nimble on this. So this, I believe it's a medium. Um, it doesn't exactly say what it is on it, but I believe it's a medium fast action crankbait rod. And this thing's just awesome. Sorry, I just had to clean off the uh, camera lens a little bit, but this thing is awesome. So this thing, it's good. I, like I said, I can throw anything on it. This started off as a square bill rod, and then now I really throw DT6s and DT10s a whole lot on this rod. It's great for those, uh, those applications. And I really could throw DT12. Um, I wouldn't go anything deeper than a 14 foot diver on this rod or else it starts to drag a lot. Um, I have this with a Daiwa Tatula 100 with, I believe this is 12 pound fluorocarbon just because smaller crankbaits, I like a lighter, like a 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon line. So. Definitely a need in an arsenal is one crankbait rod. Out of five rods, definitely get one crankbait rod. 
Lastly, the only other type of rod we're missing is one spinning rod. Uh, I'm saying that because there's one spinning rod that can really fit all um, techniques for that you need for spinning combo. And that is anywhere between a seven foot and seven foot four inch. Um, actually, you can really go six ten to seven foot four inch um, medium fast action spinning rod. Um, specifically here, I've got a Dobbins Champion Extreme, and I love this rod. But no need to go this high of a uh, like a high caliber rod if you don't need to. You can get away with plenty of good um, cheaper rods for spinning. But one thing I would suggest is spinning rods is definitely something that you want to invest in because spinning rods are more of sensitivity type bait or bite baits where you need to be able to feel those bites. But anyways, like I said, a seven foot or really a 610 to seven foot four medium fast action spinning rod. Um, you can throw anything on it. You can throw Ned rigs, drop shots, tubes, wacky rigs, Nico rigs, finesse spinners or finesse spinner baits, paddle tails, stuff like that. Um, you can throw weightless Senkos on it. You can throw everything on this. And something like this, I've got a Shimano Nos or Shimano Stratic CI4 in a 2500 size here, and I run 15 pound braid to an eight pound or six pound leader, depending on what bait I'm throwing. If I'm throwing something like a drop shot and also what fish I'm fishing for. If I'm fishing for small mouth, I'm going with six pound. If I'm fishing for large mouth, I'm going with eight pound because you can get away with a little bit thicker line that they can see. So that is the last rod I would highly suggest. And that would complete the five rod arsenal. So with that being said, there's my top five rods that I would suggest for any type of angler or bass angler to have in their arsenal if you could only have five rods. And these are must have um, like rod lengths, actions, and powers in my opinion. Some people may be different. Um, sorry about the quality halfway through if it kind of got a little bit blurry. Out of nowhere <laughs> while I was filming this, it started to rain. So my camera's getting a little bit wet, my lens getting some drops on it. But anyways, Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video about these top five rods for an arsenal. Um, definitely something that I feel like needed to be uh, out for more people to see. So anyways, before it rains any harder, we're going to sign off. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.